Alrighty, so today we are going to cover the interactions of skeletal muscles. Now, it's important that we understand that muscles never work alone. What does this mean? That means that when a muscle moves or a body part moves, there is a muscle that is responsible for that movement. That muscle is shortening. Now, there are muscles that are opposing that movement as well. Those muscles are lengthening. We also have muscles that are going to help the muscle that is responsible for the movement. And then we also have muscles that are going to anchor or stabilize a joint. So when that muscle moves, it moves effectively through its normal range of motion. So that is what we are going to cover today. And we've probably heard the terms agonist, antagonist, synergist, and fixators. That is what we are going to discuss today in depth. So let's go ahead and dive into this material. So the very first ones that we have are agonist and antagonist. An agonist is going to be the prime mover. This is the muscle that is responsible for the movement. The antagonist is going to be the opposing mover. So let's take a look at what this means. During flexion at the elbow, meaning we are bringing the arm up and it's weight bearing, the biceps brachii are shortening. You notice how these two arrows are coming together. That means that this muscle attaches to the scapula and this muscle also attaches to the radius. It is coming together, bringing the arm up. Now notice how the triceps brachii are lengthening. These arrows are going apart. They are lengthening or elongating. Now look at extension at the elbow. Now the biceps brachii are lengthening and the triceps brachii are shortening. So in flexion at the elbow, the biceps brachii are going to be our agonist, and then the triceps brachii are going to be our antagonist. Now it's going to switch because this is a different movement. Now we are extending at the elbow, making the triceps brachii our agonist and our biceps brachii our antagonist. Hopefully that makes sense. The agonist is going to be our prime mover and the antagonist is going to be the opposing mover. Agonist is shortening, antagonist is lengthening. Now, a synergist is going to assist or it's going to be a helper. So during flexion at the elbow, here we have flexion at the elbow, the arm is being lifted up, our biceps brachii are our agonist, our triceps brachii are our antagonist, but the brachialis, which is underneath the biceps brachii, is going to be a synergist, meaning that the biceps brachii isn't working alone. The brachialis, the brachioradialis, these muscles are going to help. They are also known as synergists to the agonist. So that is what a synergist is. Hopefully that makes sense. Now we have fixators. Fixators are also known as stabilizers, or I like to think of the word anchor. They're going to anchor a joint. So the muscles that I like to use to explain this are going to be our rotator cuff muscles. So here we have the supraspinatus, here we have the infraspinatus, here we have the teres minor, and then underneath the scapula, we have the subscapularis. So we have four rotator cuff muscles. What these muscles are going to do is they're going to originate on the scapula, and then they're going to insert on the head of the humerus. So this bone right here is our humerus, and this is the head of the humerus, right? So what they do is they're going to hold or they're going to anchor the head of the humerus into the scapula. They are going to anchor the head of the humerus into the glenoid cavity. That is the name of the fossa that is on the scapula. It is known as the glenoid cavity. And so these muscles are responsible for anchoring or stabilizing this joint. Now, why is that important? When I go to flex at the elbow, my biceps brachii are being pulled from both attachment sites, meaning it is attached to my radius and it is also attached to my supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. That is basically on the scapula. So it is pulling on my scapula and it is also pulling on my radius. Well, why is whenever I contract this muscle, why is the only thing that's moving is my forearm, my radius? All you see is that moving up. When I flex at my elbow, the only movement you see is my radius. It's pulling on both ends, but what is stopping it from moving? Those rotator cuff muscles because they are fixated. They are stabilizing that joint. Hopefully that makes sense. So I would encourage you to make sure that you understand this information before you go into the implex because you are definitely going to see the words agonist, antagonist, synergist, and fixator on the implex for sure. Agonist is our prime mover. Antagonist is our opposing mover. Synergists are our helpers. And then the fixators are going to anchor or they're going to stabilize 
a joint. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me in the comments down below or send me an email at wellknownreyes at gmail.com. Y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see y'all in our next video. Y'all take care.